Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me an email how how would I design this in Corel X8? Well, I don't have X8. I have 19, but it's on a laptop and uh, the videos just don't come out as nice. So you just bring in the image. I just copied it in here. Now we're gonna tr we're gonna uh, crop this because we don't want to trace the whole young lady. So when you crop something, you need to click on your item first, because if you don't do that, everything else on your page will disappear. I'm going to go up to bitmap, and I'm going to resample. So this is only 72, so I'm going to make it 300 dot French. Then I'm going to go to trace, bitmap, outline trace, clip art, and, and whoever I'm doing this for, you could try it different ways. You know, different qualities of clip art, but this is going to work. Your trace copy will always be on top. It's only two inches tall, so I'm going to make my nudge factor three. Let me get these out of the way. These are the ones, some of them, whoop, some of them I've already done, and they came out pretty good. If you look, my top one is mine, and the bottom one, I mean, he said design something like this. You'll never copy that 100%. But I need to go and I need to... I can't remember if I broke this apart. Yep, I ungroup it. My nudge factor set on three. I'm going to grab the green. I'm going to put the arrow key down. I'm going to hit some of the bigger parts of the red. I'm going to hit the black. I'm going to hit the gold. And you're already almost there. And that might be good enough for some people. But it's not, let's bring in the original. It's not 100% perfect. But it all depends on what look you want. It is vector. It's good clean art now. But you could take your shape tool, grab and select these nodes and bring them down. You know, have a little bit different look. Sorry about that. Uh, you could take the the red and you could actually, well, you have to click on them. You could actually delete all that to have more red. You could select all these and just move them up and then maybe get rid of that one to have a different shape. Now, the only difference between the two is that the, the original has like a solid gold. So we're going to move the solid gold away for a little bit. We're going to zoom in here. And this is, you wouldn't really have to do this, but to make it look a little closer, I'm just selecting some nodes and I'm deleting them. And I'm going to take that node right there, click on it, hold down the shift key, click on that node, right click and turn them into a line. Delete the nodes that are in between there. Same thing on this one. I'm just deleting nodes and I'm not going to take a lot of time on the video but turn this node right here into a line that looks a little better delete some of this make this corner node a line because now when we delete these we'll have a better line and for the video that's probably good enough now we need to fill this in with gold so we need to get rid of some of these parts that are filled in so you could do a number of things. The easiest thing to do to stop it from leaking, let's just zoom in here, get your two-point line, and just draw from that node to that node. And you could actually create those black, but I'm gonna, it looks pretty cool like it is. Then I'm just gonna draw some lines, and, and this is where I said you could actually clean that up a little bit. Let's just go up here. Now I'm gonna get my Smart Fill tool. I'm going to put no outline and I want yellow and I'm going to fill that in with yellow. Then just delete my line. Whoop. Well, the easiest way to do would be to nudge it out of the way. So you can click on your lines and that's why I like the nudge tool because we can nudge it right back and that looks pretty close. Now, if you wanted that exact color, you could go to the eyedropper tool 
and change it to that color. Why don't we just do that real quick? Grab the eyedropper tool and grab that and put it in that yellow. And now it's the same color. And I would, um, you know, straighten up this blue a little bit. Get your shape tool. Select it. Maybe get rid of some of those nodes. And, um, you know, bring this down. And make it look as distorted or not as distorted as you want. And I think that looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope it helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.